Hey guys, welcome back. This is my May favorites, and I have addressed it in a previous video, but the reason I did not have an April favorites is because I was sick for about two and a half weeks out of the month, so I really didn't use a whole lot of products, and by the time I would have filmed that video, it would have been up like in mid-May, so I figured it wasn't even really worth it to film a video. But um, yeah, so I am back in action in May, and I'm ready for this, and so we're gonna go ahead and get started on my May favorites. I do have a couple things, not a whole lot of things, but let's take this journey through May together, and let's get started. I'm I'm just gonna go get started with any random thing. I do not have any rhyme or reason to this. I have a bunch of stuff on my vanity right now. So I'm just gonna start. Um, something I have an absolutely loving in May is Lush, like bath products in general, like bath bombs, bubble runes, anything. I have a couple of them here that I have just absolutely been loving. I got like a whole shipment of them from Lush, and I've just been really, really back into baths lately. I don't know why. Like, like when you like find a really great bath product, it really makes you motivated to want to take more bath. So yeah, I have a couple of them here. This is a pink mini. This is just the bath bomb, and then I have a couple of bubble runes here. This is the rose bubble bar and the comforter bubble bar and I have like four or five of them that I showed just in an empties video because I've been using them like crazy. absolutely have been loving Lush bubble bars. It just, um, it's kind of relaxing to just get in a bath for a couple minutes, especially if you're a mom. You know that those 10 minutes that you just soak in a bath is just like so irreplaceable. It is just, they're just priceless moments. I absolutely have been really appreciating just being able to take baths lately. Okay. So moving right along, I'm gonna go ahead and guess. I guess I'll get started with my makeup items because I do have a couple of makeup items. I have an absolutely loving this Mac blush in Spring Sheen. It's like the absolute perfect blush for spring. I mean, hence the name. But it's just I don't know. In the col in the pan, it doesn't look particularly appealing. Like I probably, if I was in the store, I would not like be drawn to this but I saw it in somebody's video and I'm pretty sure it's Jaclyn Hill because I get like so many products specifically MAC products because of her videos and, and I saw it on her I saw it swatch and it's just it looks so much better like swatched and actually on the skin than it does in the pan I don't know what do you guys think right it doesn't really look like it does in the pan I don't know for some reason but I have been wearing I'm wearing it today I have been wearing this probably like the only blush I've been wearing for like the past I don't even know because like I said I was sick but probably the last like month and a half or something like that but yeah it's just an absolute gorgeous color and it has shine it almost could be used as a highlight it actually probably could be used as a highlight if you put do like a really light hand and maybe you blend it out it's just an amazing amazing beautiful color I absolutely love it going along with the highlight theme also from Mac I actually got this in a swap pop page um, this is actually the Mac highlighter in redhead it was like I thought it was kind of perfect um, it was very very lightly used um, the person who sold it to me um, really hadn't used it at all and she was just like you really need to give it a good home so decided to grab it Can you see that? it's just perfect and it really just has sort of been going along with my theme lately of just really illuminating skin just not mad at all I've just been really into like the glowy bronzy illuminated spring skin and it really complements my love for soft and gentle which is like my all-time favorite highlighter ever and it is similar but it does have like a more pinky tone to it I don't know if you can yeah it's more pinky to it and it's just beautiful and I absolutely love it it's just like the best highlighter I'm so excited that I got it and I'm just so stoked on the name I'm not gonna lie I'm really stoked on the name okay going along with my um, May Mac favorites apparently I have been really obsessed with this um, prolonged paint pot in perky it's just like the perfect spring color it's like a corally it's like almost like a corally nude it's just such a perfect color and it's just such a perfect color to just put down no matter what shade eyeshadow you're using and I've actually been using this alone. It's perfect. It's like a perfect flesh tone kind of coral. And I've absolutely been loving it. And this is probably like one of my favorite paint pot shades ever. So, okay, I have one more MAC product. And I swear this is the last one of my favorites. Um, and this is a um, MAC pigment in Copper Sparkle. And I actually just featured this in my um, latest spring makeup tutorial. It's absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous. It's like my favorite, probably, uh, probably my favorite MAC pigment. I don't know. It's hard to choose. I don't know. You girls out there who have like several MAC pigments know that it's like so hard to choose, but yeah, there it is right there. I'm actually wearing it today. I don't know if my camera will focus, but and it's just like the perfect, perfect spring shade. And I've been wait waiting for spring to happen 
so that I can just wear the crap out of this and it's perfect. I mean how good do like all these colors go together? They're just so complimentary and I've been wearing pretty much like these exact four products together and it's just the most beautiful look. I don't know, yeah, if you can just see how illuminating my face is. Okay, so I have a couple more makeup products. This is the Stila Stay All Day 10 in 1 HD BB Cream. And this is just a little sample size that I got and actually a set. I've actually been loving this stuff. Um, it is kind of heavy, which is weird because it's a BB cream. It is a little bit on the thick side, but um, once you just kind of let it stay on your skin, sink into your skin, it gives you this really amazing glow. And I've actually just been using it alone or mixing just like a drop of it in with my foundation. And it's been giving me this great just glow, like spring glow. Like I've been out in the sun and just I'm sun kissed and it's just... I really love this stuff and I'm actually going to be um, getting the full size one soon because I love it so much and I've been using so much of it and like you only need a little bit of it and surprisingly I've used it about four or five times in this little bitty sample size so I've really been loving that and along with my sort of summer bronzy glow look I have absolutely been loving my Chanel um, 10 day Chanel bronzer which I had like a love-hate relationship with it when I first got it. I wasn't sure if I really liked it or not. But lately, um, since I've been going for like the non-powdery matte look, I've absolutely been loving this. Um, just put, I just like put it down on my skin before I put a powder bronzer on or alone. And it just gives like the best like natural contour. Natural like, I don't even know how to explain it to you. It just gives you the most natural bronzy look. I mean it looks completely natural because it is cream. And I've always found that like cream contour looks so much better than um, powder contour but for some reason I haven't been able to work with it. But since I got this product I've really really been loving cream contour and I'm not sure I can even go back to using powder contour in the winter. But we will see. Next up is actually my Philosophy um, Purity um, Oil Free Mineral Cleanser which is just a facial mineral oil, cleanse off oil, like the MAC cleanse off oil. I've actually been loving this stuff. I know I featured this in the haul. As you can see, I've used quite a bit of it. It looks like it's less than it is on camera. Um, I've actually been loving this. This is probably, this is like the only thing I've been using that removed my makeup for a while. It's just like so simple and so easy and it's, it's not irritating at all on my skin because my skin is extremely sensitive. So um, it has really just been a great, great product and I, re I really do recommend this for anybody who has sensitive skin or anybody who just doesn't want to go through a bunch of steps to just take off their makeup at night if you're just tired. I mean this is just like one step. I take off my makeup and then I wash my face and that's it. And yeah, this is definitely a great product. I actually have this EOS lip balm and this is the pink one. I'm not exactly sure. I think it's like strawberry sorbet or something like that. But I've been really getting back into EOS lip balms lately. Um, I switched a couple of times to a couple different brands but um, I recently went back to this and I forgot how much I liked EOS lip balms. I mean they're just so moisturizing and they're so, they're cute and they're just so easy to use and I just really forgot how much I really missed that I don't even know. There's I just I just forgot how much I missed like the consistency of these. And I really have been loving them and I think I've gone through like three of them in the past two months or something like that, which is ridiculous. But yeah, um I've really been loving US lip balms lately. Okay, next up is a skincare product and this is the First Aid Beauty um, Skin Rescue Purifying Mask with Red Clay and I really like this. Um, it's specifically supposed to be for people with oily skin and it is a peel off mask and it's something about just like putting something on your face and just like peeling it off in one strip. It's just so satisfying for some reason. Yeah, and it really does get into my pores and clear out all the oil so if I'm having a particularly oily day or if my skin is like acne prone, I will definitely definitely reach for this. So I really recommend this guy. Okay, next up I have my Soap and Glory hand food. As you can see, I bit the bullet and I purchased the full size in this and it's almost gone again. I talked about this in my empties video. This is like probably like my favorite hand lotion that I've ever tried or I've tried in a really long time. It's just amazing. It, it smells great. It's moisturizing. It just feels great on your hands. It doesn't leave your hands like greasy. You know some lotions you put it on and then like you're still feeling greasy 10 minutes later. It's not like that at all. And I absolutely love this. And as you can see I've been loving this a heck of a lot in May. And next up another product I've really been loving for the spring is the MAC strobe cream and um, basically what it is is just a cream that you put on before you put on anything on your face like um, after moisturizer but before primer that's what I do and it really is just sort of like a light 
it just sort of like the light catches it. It's not like shimmery or anything by any means, but it just sort of illuminizes, and that's really the look that I've been going for lately. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, well, like the look that I've been going for lately. So it's like really like something that you put under your makeup that just it's light catching and it's just amazing. And I've really, really been loving this lately. Staying on that illuminizing train, two products that I've really been loving lately are both from Josie Marin. And one is the Argon Illuminizer, and the second one is the Argon Oil with Radiance. And I have really, really been liking these guys, um, especially just mixing in with foundation or mixing in with tinted moisturizer and just putting on your face and just rubbing it. It really kind of does the same thing as a MAC Strobe Cream. It really does like this radiant, illuminating, just light catching type of thing to your face. And that is just absolutely what you want for this type of time of year um, with it getting hot outside. Lately, I have just been loving just kind of like that, oh, I just walked off the beach, look at me radiating type of look. I think especially in the warmer months, if you try to be like totally matte and have like a powdered face, you know, to try to combat the humidity, you're going to sweat anyway. And when you sweat on like a matte face, it makes it look like cakey and it makes it look just not good. I don't know. I think if you have more like a luminized look and then you sweat, it doesn't, it doesn't look as bad. It looks natural to me. That's just my opinion. That's what I've been really liking lately, so I've really been liking these two products. Next up, I have an eye cream. This is the Benefit It's Potent Eye Cream. This is just a small sample size, and I actually used up my normal Olay eye cream, and um, I had a sample of this, and I wanted to give it a try, and I really do like it. I really like the consistency. It doesn't have, like, an odor or anything. Um, it is sort of like a cooling effect, which I really like. It's, like, one of the most important things for, like, especially eye creams, like, that cooling effect, because it really helps, like, de your eyes, de your eyes. I'm sorry. It sounds like I'm trying to like deep puffed out of your eyes. Anyway, so yeah, it really helps, I think, with the under eye circles and just brightening. Because, I mean, that's what you want under your eyes. You want, like, that brightening effect. You want that awake effect. You want to, like, open and bright. And, um, I really like this eye cream. And I definitely would recommend it for people who have, like, dark under eye circles. Who maybe have long hours at work and who don't get enough sleep. And just want that nice, like, bright-eyed, open look. Um, yeah, I definitely would recommend this. Okay, next up, I have an actually loving, this is my first one, surprisingly. I got a Z palette, and I've actually been obsessed with it. This is my first one, and I just started putting some of my makeup geek shadows in it, and I've just, I've, you know, obviously I've heard about Z palettes, like, forever, but I never, like, was into, like, using just, like, the eyeshadow pans. I've always liked, you know, using, like, the straight up, like eyeshadows for some reason but as I started to look at my makeup collection I started to see how many things I had and how little storage and how much little space I actually had I thought you know what I'm gonna take the plunge and get one of these e-palettes so I got one of these I got the leopard print one like I said I got some of my makeup e-shadows and I really am impressed by it I just love it it's just so sleek and just I'm beautiful and I mean the fact that I can hold like so many shadows and just like one palette is amazing and I definitely am going to be like depotting some of my shadows. I might make a video on that, which is just going to be like, you know, like when you see tutorials on Pinterest and then like the people try to attempt it and they're like, nailed it. Yeah, it, that's just going to, it's going to be a video of me like completely screwing up my depotting. So if you would like a video of that, thumbs up this video, let me know, comment below. Okay, so actually my last thing of the month is my Holy Grail Batiste Dry Shampoo. And this is actually the original scent, which I know you guys know that I really like the floral scent and then like the wild and sassy leopard scent. <laughs> But this one is the only one they had in my uh, drugstore. They've only one they've had in my drugstore for like a while, which is weird. But anyway, I'm not like, you know, particular dead set on one specific scent. So, I mean, if this is all I had, this is, I'm going to get it. <clears throat> I've been using dry shampoo a lot more than usual lately because, like I said, I have been sick, I have been feeling well, so I haven't been taking as many showers, which means I haven't been washing my hair as much, so my hair has been getting, like, a lot greasier, and, you know, like, the worst thing in the world is, like, when you're trying to, like, take a nap or you're trying to lay down and you're, like, your hair is, like, full of grease and it's, like, the worst, so I've been using dry shampoo a lot, a lot, like, several times a day, a lot lately, so, yeah, so I've been going back, to, of course, to my old faithful Batiste dry shampoo, so... That's it, guys. That's all the things I've been loving in May. Um, as far as beauty related, I'm sure I could do, like, um, a separate video on maybe, like, um, sort of non-beauty related 
favorites would you guys like be interested in that i've seen a lot of people who do that like they talk about like food and music and songs and tv and stuff like that if you guys would like to see videos like that from me please let me know down below because i'm always looking for video suggestions it seems like i have like so many video like ideas and then when i go to film i like totally forget about all of them or i totally can't film specific videos that day because i have other things going on but yeah if you guys would like to see like sort of non-beauty related favorites of the month from me please let me know and i will be happy to do that for you because I definitely have a lot to talk about that isn't that is non-beauty related also so thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video bye